what's happening on Main Street? And the answer is uh, there's still a gap. Even though we are back up above our 2009 levels, there is a gap in small dollar loans under 250,000, particularly under 150,000. And there is a gap in underserved markets. So uh, even though minority-owned businesses are growing faster than ever, as are women-owned businesses, we are not getting the capital into these, um, mar into these markets. And they're not getting access and opportunity. And therefore, unemployment rates are high. Some of these are Main Street businesses. Restaurant opens, restaurant closes. Failure rate, new restaurant doesn't open. New dry cleaner doesn't open. Um, auto dealer, not open in some of these underserved communities. So we've really got uh, some work to do. What are we doing? Well, there's a series of things um, that we're doing that involve more dollars and more doors. We've got a whole scheme of things, um, but I'll just talk about a couple. We simplified our programs for small dollar loans. Too much paperwork, right? too much cost to make a small dollar loan. We took our paperwork down. I actually had this conversation. I delivered over to the White House because they had a question on this. The stack of paper that was required before our change and the stack of paper that was required after our change. We're trying to use more of the bank's own paperwork um, and allow uh, simple, more, less complexity, more streamlining without increasing the risk. We're also strengthening our microloans. And then I particularly want to talk about this last thing. Just recently, the Vice President and I went and announced that 13 of the largest banks, including Bank of America, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan Chase, um, have committed an additional incremental $20 billion into these markets, small business loans, with particular emphasis on small loans and underserved communities. And that's another public-private partnership that is going to drive more capital where it needs to be. And if you look at um, the whole range of equity, we are operating, and we're not the only ones. Down at the bottom, you'll see uh, we have a great partnership with Tom Vilsack, the Secretary of Agriculture, using all of the rural development loan programs in the same context. But all the way from equity in our SBICs through the micro lenders, CDFIs is a treasury program. Um, where we are now allowing them access to our 7A loan product. So partnerships all across the federal government on access to capital and partnerships with the private sector as well. 